Hey there, welcome back to coding stuff. In this video, we are gonna learn how to enable or disable button. So we'll be creating this app. Right now you can see I have not written any email or password and the button is enabled. And as soon as I click uh, here and write something, the button gets disabled. You can see it here. Okay, and now if I write the password, then the button gets enabled. So we'll be creating this app. So let's get started. So I have created one project here. I have dragged to edit text and one button. So to save your time. Now we'll just uh, link with our Java file. So to edit text. So private edit text um, username and pass and one button. So private button and button and login instead and now we'll find their id so m um, username find with id r dot id dot username and pass find with id r dot id dot sorry password and the last one m um, login button it will be find with id r dot id dot button so now there is one class text watcher that keeps trace of uh, input from user to edit text so we'll just create an object of the text watcher so text watcher let's say login text watcher is equal to new text watcher and it will give me three methods so we'll just put here semicolon first and what we have to do, we have to write our code in on text change. So first what we'll do, we'll grab those uh, user inputted text from our edit text. So m is a string user that will be m username dot get text to, to string tree. Okay, and now string pass, sorry, m pass dot get text to string and trim. So this is it. Now we'll check. Uh, instead of checking it, we'll just we can just write one line of code that will be let's say m button m login set enabled, and we can pass here our user is empty, and if uh, if it is true, then button will be enabled, and if it is if it is false, then user uh, if user has not inputted any value so it will return false and the button will be disabled and pass dot is empty okay this is it now we have to just write two lines of code and that is we have to set this text watcher to our username and pass password edit text so m username dot add text change list now and we'll pass here our login text change text watcher okay and to our m pass also so add text change listener and that will be login text watcher okay this is cool now we'll check uh, if our app is working or not it will work definitely because we haven't made any mistake so now it is enabled and if i put anything here okay button goes disabled because we have we haven't inputted any password and now you can check the button is enabled again okay this is it for this video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are liking the tutorials thank you for watching